It's obvious that around here we have plenty of the Florida cottonmouth or water moccasin, which is a pit viper and a very dangerous snake. It's best to avoid them if you can. Do not try to provoke them. Give them plenty of room. When you are near a creek, pond, swamp, or slow-moving river, be on the lookout for these venomous snakes. Another pit viper we have to be concerned about is the dusky pygmy rattlesnake. They are relatively small, anywhere between 13 to 20 inches long. Their rattles are tiny and barely make any audible sound. But their bite is dangerous and their venom is potent. The most feared pit viper in the southeastern United States, and in this part of Florida especially, is the much larger eastern diamondback rattlesnake. When sitting motionless in their upland habitat, they are very difficult to see. It is the most massive snake in North America, and its venom can be lethal. When walking in their habitat, it is best to be very observant and very careful where you place your feet. Our neighbor called one day to see if I wanted to film a large diamondback, which was coiled next to her storage shed. She had gone in and out of her shed twice before she realized that the diamondback was coiled right next to the door. Sometimes they will rattle and sometimes they won't. They are usually docile, but it is best not to provoke one. They will bite. This diamondback disappeared under the storage house. And a month later we found out why. She gave birth to more than a dozen young rattlesnakes. The mother and the neonates stayed around and under the storage shed for several days. Each newborn diamondback had one button, the first of its set of rattles. After each of the young snakes shed their skin, they went their separate ways. There's another dangerous pit viper that has a more limited range in North Florida called the canebrake or timber rattlesnake. It's always good to know what they look like in case you are hiking in their habitat.